this morning. But one sector which is definitely uh, bucking that trend to some extent are uh, rail stocks. And we're talking now with Vivek Lohia. He's Managing Director at Jupiter Wagons, who's joining us on the show. Mr. Lohia, very, very good morning to you. Uh, great to have you on. Now, recently, uh, you were on the news for, um, uh, you know, Vande Bharat order and uh, these new kinds of batteries that you will be making for the Vande Bharat. Can you give us more details on that? Let's start with that. Yeah, uh, good morning. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is part of a broader plan. As you are aware that we are going to be launching an electric vehicle shortly in uh, in a couple of months' time. So, uh, and as a backward integration, we are now focusing on the uh, manufacturing our own uh, lithium-ion batteries. So, as uh, you know, we are a very integral player in the railway sector, and we saw a great opportunity there because railway is... a uh, a sizable uh, buyer of batteries. Uh, they have been buying uh, mainly traditional batteries, which are, uh, you know, lead acid batteries, which are not environmentally friendly and uh, have uh, the replacement cycles are very small and they are much heavier. So we wanted to bring in the to a newer technology and we have been now working with railways for the last uh, two years, uh, doing the necessary field trials and testings. So this is basically a culmination of that where now recently we have been approved uh, to supply the batteries for the Vande Bharat. And parallelly, uh, you know, our trials have been successful on the passenger coaches itself. So that also shortly we are expecting uh, trial orders uh, from Indian Railways. Okay, so interesting stuff. Let's get into a bit of detail. And now tell me a bit about these LFT batteries for which you've got an approval. Um, and um, uh, this comes from the RDSO, that's the Research Designs and Standard Organization. Uh, why is this different, this technology, lithium ion phosphate? And uh, is it also more cost efficient? Can you give us a little more on this? So definitely it is, uh, in the long run, it is more cost efficient. Uh, one is that uh, definitely the uh, it is a, uh, so the traditional batteries are basically they uh, these are these are intelligent batteries. So this uh, you know uh, when the the battery itself uh, also can uh, do a lot of diagnosis. So we know in case any uh, any of the electrical systems on on the trains are not functioning. So uh, you know the uh, battery can feed uh, give feedback on the same. Uh, secondly, they are much easier to maintain. The maintenance cycles are, uh, so they don't have to be replaced uh, regularly. Third, and the most important, over the, uh, over the long run, it is much more, uh, it's about 30 to 40% more cost efficient than the traditional batteries. Uh, in terms of uh, clear orders for these LFP batteries, are those in place? Can you give us details there? So we have orders uh, from Simmons and we are also working with other players. So as and when, uh, you know, new orders for Vande Bharat coaches uh, are going to be uh, placed. Uh, so with, uh, say, for example, with uh, BHEL, uh, they have a sizable order for Vande Bharat. We are already we are expecting an order book from them. We are working with uh, similarly with other players. So, uh, you know, this it's, it's a sizable market. Uh, so, uh, BHEL and this, Siemens both, sir, what is the size of the order right now? So, Siemens, right now we have got a trial order for about, uh, I think, for about 30 coaches, roughly. For, I don't know exact number for them. And they expect, uh, and in, in, the, in the short term itself, we expect orders for at least uh, between Siemens and other players for at least 50 to 100 uh, additional Vande Bharat coaches. Uh, plus, I think for us, another big opportunity is the traditional passenger coaches. As you know, the population of that is uh, uh, more than uh, about 50, 60,000 coaches. So there we expect a huge opportunity. As, as I mentioned, our trials are over. Uh, we expect the developmental order shortly. I think once we are able to execute that, uh, that market is going to open up. Parallelly, we are also working on locomotives uh, with Indian Railways. So there itself, uh, you know, right now as auxiliary power, they are using generator sets, uh, which are again not environmentally uh, sustainable. Uh, they are, so we want to replace them with again uh, lithium-ion battery packs. Uh, 
so there itself so overall i think it will see this is a new technology which is being introduced so it will uh, it will take uh, a little bit more time but uh, you know we have done the hard work i think in the next uh, one or two years uh, we will see a huge opportunity in this sector there are number mr loya for fy25 and what the order book could be valued at for uh, these new batteries in fy25 is there a number there again very difficult to give numbers uh, but uh, you know again uh, we don't uh, but it's going to be as i mentioned in the next 2 to 3 years we expect this market uh, for lithium ion batteries in in the railway sector in particular to be uh, around uh, 1000 crores to be the overall market size so and and in, in that market we are definitely going to play a very very uh, strong role in that market share you targeting vivek there good morning neeraj here uh, yeah good morning neeraj we are uh, we are targeting a sizable market share we have a uh, the advantage is that we have the first lead in 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 the mm. segment mm. and as you are aware that we are also uh, you know working with railways and the other sectors and in in the coaching and in the other products so uh, you know there's a opportunity for us in terms of uh, uh, in terms of integration so definitely uh, we, we want to be the market leaders in that segment that okay. is our target but any chairs i mean relative to your overall revenues not that large but did i hear you say that you want to launch evs as well yeah so uh, our commercial ev uh, uh, we are launching a 1 ton four wheel uh, uh, truck which has already got the ari certification mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, being launched with more than 80% localization so we mm -hmm. are also eligible for fame subsidy on that mm -hmm. and we expect any uh, between uh, august to september for the rollout of the trucks to happen and and what kind of revenue targets assuming that everything goes as per plan what do you anticipate fy26 revenue targets to be like from that maybe so we are expecting to at least sell anything between 1000 to 2000 vehicles annually uh, in 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 that segment uh, after the one ton truck we are going to be uh, within the next year we are going to be launching the uh, two ton as well as the three ton payload okay so so our, our focus is on the last mile connectivity got it and yeah, i think yeah. with uh, with this and there's again you know as you are aware that yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a segment which has got uh, real potential in it most certainly so what does it what does it i mean th let's say com combine volumes of 1000 to 2000 trucks what does it make a revenue size like for just from the ev side let's say so it'll be beyond annually it will be beyond uh, 2 to 300 crores of revenue okay so and ev ev plans add about 500 plus 300 let's say 800 crores of revenue let's say in fy27 if all goes as per plan and what are the organic revenue growth size because you've grown quite admirably but now the base is higher right from 1000 crores in 21 to 3700 crores you've grown what do you do from here so again you know there are a lot of opportunities uh, we have invested heavily on uh, we have recently acquired a, a, a railway wheel plant of uh, bonatrans uh, it's it's uh, one of the biggest manufacturers of uh, wheel sets in europe uh, we have acquired that plant very recently and uh, we are doing sizable capex there in the next uh, two years we expect to do more than 1500 crores of capex where the plant will be fully integrated and the revenues i think from fy uh, 27 or uh, it will be close to about uh, 3 to 4000 crores of incremental revenues we are expecting uh, from that we plan to manufacture about uh, 100000 wheel sets uh, from that plant this year itself we are targeting a revenue of close to about uh, 400 3 to 400 crores from that business and uh, you know as you are aware that tatra wagon ka being uh, uh, again promoters in jupiter and uh, they are again the biggest manufacturers of uh, freight cars in europe so their requirements are close to about uh, they require close to about 50000 wheel sets themselves mm. so again there is a huge export opportunity uh, where uh, you know the first time from a net importer india is going to start exporting wheel sets and that too also in in the european market so definitely uh, that is one opportunity uh, which we are very very focused on what is going to be the size of uh, that export book for you Uh, as a proportion of revenue going forward vivek 
So we expect at least 40% of our, of okay. the overall revenues from that business. As I've told you, it'll be anything between three to 4,000 crores of revenues. Hmm. Uh, and then and, uh, it'll take us about two years to get that full backward integration piece in place. Yeah. So we expect at least 40% of the revenues uh, to be exports. Okay, exciting times ahead for Jupiter Wagons. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Vivek Lohia there talking about the company's plans. And uh, the big one is uh, an commercial EV vehicle out by September or so. With that, uh, it's a wrap on India Markets Open, but stay tuned. Talking point up.